Hello out there, space janitors. It's time once again for us to join Roger Wilco in the Spinal Frontier. This is Rich Genic, Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Genic elsewhere. And let's continue our adventure. Now, uh, we have got to get rid of two people as we need to get off this ship and rescue Stellar. So we got, went to 8 rear. So let's talk to... Uh, Hello, uh, Roger. Please join Sydney. me in consuming something. Thanks, Sydney. You seem uptight. Did say what? Upright? What are you talking about, Sydney? Uptight was the word. Perhaps that is too archaic a reference for you. It would have been more effective to say that you seem concerned. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I do have a thing or two. Uh, well, at least something on my mind. I am sorry to hear this. I hope your concerns are soon alleviated. Hmm. Thanks, Sid. I do have to come up with some solutions. Sydney, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Flame away, Roger. You know I'd give you my right appendage if you needed it. Well, you should say that, Sydney. I kind of have this situation where that very item could come in handy. Really? Well, I was merely saying that uh, metaphorically. You really are a great friend, Sydney. That'll come in real handy. I can't thank you enough, Sydney. Well, if you really are seriously in need of it, I suppose I could lend it to you. You will get it right back to me, won't you, Roger? Oh, yeah. You bet your nut flanges, Sydney. Hmm. Well, let's, uh... Actually... Sydney, I kind of need another favor. I need one of your eyes. Pardon me, Roger. For a second, I thought you said you also wanted one of my eyes. I must have my auditory circuits diagnosed. Nope. Well, we need your eye. actually, Sydney, I, I could use one of your eyes. Are you certain, Roger? Well, I guess if you really need it. <laughs> oh, I do. I really do, Sydney. You're a mechanized lifesaver. You will return them soon, right, Roger? Oh, uh, of course, Sydney. Real soon. Listen. I've got a couple of things I've got to attend to. I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, Sydney. As long as you say it will be soon, Roger. Yeah, it'll be oh, soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, see you soon, Sydney. All right. Now that we have what we need from Sydney, Norman and I, back to Shelby. Get in there. Transition. Let's see. And off we go again. Get our clothes ripped off of us as we do it.
completely out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got my finger in there, Kirk Russell. Now you can't get away. I got you. Now, 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 I got to hard to leave this, this real, real, real job. job. Oh, my God. my God. You've got his key ring. Yes. Dropship from aliens. What ship is the one I need? There's got to be a way to figure it out. Ooh, a mint conditioned 57 Gateway Bel Air with mag thrusters, overhead lifters, and four pod barrels. I'm not sure where that's from. This baby is a sleek streak Corsair with push button tranny and dual airbags. Okay. These balsa wood shuttles are really maneuverable, but they don't last two seconds in a phaser battle. Oh. Some guy wearing a Delco air filter on his face parked this shuttle. Okay. This Kiapian runabout strikes fear into the heart of the Japaxian Empire. It's a good compact shuttle for under 8,500 buckazoids. Oh, great. Wait, is that a... You hear a disembodied voice saying... Remember your parking space, Luke. Okay. Some woman driver parked her shuttle here and contaminated the whole deep ship with these acid-bleeding, multi-jawed, exoskeletal aliens. And you had a really huge mess to clean up. Just for that, Kielbasa refused to validate her parking slip. <laughs> what a beauty. A true museum-quality McKinley Ultramarine Blue Runner. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. In your dreams. This Tiberian skimmer may look intimidating, but it's seriously underpowered. And that clear steel compound cockpit is particularly vulnerable to meteorites, baryon radiation, and large insects. Mm. It's a standard Starcon shuttle built for speed and maneuverability. Unfortunately, with a budget of only 550,000 buckazoids, they had to leave off certain amenities, like airtight seals, decent shields, and restrooms. Oh yeah, that'll be a problem. However, I now gotta figure out which one of these vehicles I can uh, uh, sky be away. The shuttle's alarm is now deactivated. Well, well. Excellent guess, Kreskin. Wrong, but excellent. Oh. Well, now it's our shuttle. You're not that thirsty. Well, we're now in the shuttle, so that's a good thing. Let's see. Well then. <laughs> well, we got over here. You've got way too much to do to spend time messing with that now. All right, fair enough. Hmm. 
Mm, PTS, ICD, subroutine program card, game. The power is. Oh. Don't touch that. Well, might as well get that stuff out. All right. Initiation. Oh. So, got to take the off here. Hmm. How do I take off on this thing again? Okay. Oh. Okay. Current code lasagna. <laughs> Alrighty. How to get going here? Do, 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 do. So I need to adjust this to the right code. Sodium, nitrogen, neptunium, cobalt. have that I could do figure this out with there must be something I can do to get this going so what's the trick hmm. there's gotta be a trick hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. That so see. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Oh, I need a retina scan. Let's see if this sucker works. All right. Here's your fish! Oh, great. Not that damn fish again. I probably should have gotten that information. Maybe Sydney had that information. Janitor Wilco, what are you doing? You have no authorization to take that shuttle. To make matters worse, you have launched into the middle of a super double reverse anti-anomaly. You will turn that ship around immediately and head back to the shuttle bay. Do you understand, Wilco? Bite me, Commander. What was that last transmission, Wilco? Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, um... 
having a little problem with the signal, sir. I mean, uh, with all due respect, sir, I did plead with you not to leave Stellar behind. Sir, I sense that something's just not right with that community. I don't believe Stellar is dead, and I just can't leave her there. I'm going to do this, sir, regardless of the consequences. Stellar saved my life not once, but twice. I owe her. Well, that was her own stupid mistake. <laughs> I demand that you return at once, Wilco. If you do so and surrender now, your record will be taken into consideration during your disciplinary hearing. Oh, that'll help you loads. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I just can't. I have to do this. Wilco, you fool! Yeah, maybe. Just then, the shuttle is sucked into the anti-anomaly. Communication with the deep ship has been disrupted. Hmm. I suppose they needed something that would sound appropriately. Uh oh. So what's going on? It says power. This button activates the manual override state. It is effective only while in flight. Sir, I am unable to access the navigational computer. I am guessing that it may have overloaded just as the Divalium crystal somehow went offline. Once repairs have been made and the shuttle engines have been re-fired, I believe I can follow the deep ship's ion trail back to Delta Berxelon 5. That would be quite cool, Manuel. You sure about that? Once the Divalium crystal has been repaired, our electrical system re-established and the engines fired, I am... 97.2% certain. Mm. Why only 97.2%? I judge 97.2% to sound more hip to our audience than would 100. You would have to mention it. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. It's the players you ruined it for. I just love a game that's so brilliantly self-aware. <laughs> All right. Ah, an EVA suit. Okay. Wow, the crystal seems to have broken. I swear, it wasn't me. Of course. Now we're in deep. Yeah. Hey, I've gotten us this far, haven't I? Yes, and what a wonderful place it is. Hmm, how did I get hooked up in this deal? My agent's going to be hearing from me big time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to fix this thing. Okay. So what we got to do is fix the damn ship. Fixing the damn ship. That's going to be tricky as hell. All right. Wait a minute. This button op this button op Let's see. Oh well we have a We have a crystal. Well that's good. Now we have a crystal.
Okay, Raj. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? Okay. Oh. You pour glue all over the crystal. I guess the Divalium crystal won't work in this form. Fortunately, I have vast experience in the reforming of broken items. It's no wonder you've had to repair a lot of stuff you've broken in your time. The word Claude comes to mind. Yes. I guess it's no one. It feels nice. I guess it's. I guess the Divalium crystal won't work in this form. Fortunately, I have vast experience in the reforming of broken items. It feels. It feels. It feels. It feels. Okay. What now? Worry. Hey, I've gotten us. Yes, and hmm. How did I? I guess it's. I it. It pro I guess it's okay. I have to fix it. Do I have to put the glue on the crystal too? Yep, that was it. You hold the glue coated segment to the broken devalium crystal for ten seconds to set the glue. Yay, we fix it. Da -da -da. All right. It's a recall. A recall notice. Uh huh. It's the recall notice. Oh. Hmm. So we have to use uh, da 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 da. Uh, let's see. Plus goes in. Minus there, that's a circle, that's a tuning fork like structure. Okay. Now we're going to have to jump start. Alrighty, so now let's get back here. We what may I do for you, sir? Mm -hmm. Not right now. You pull the handle and hear something release on the outside of the shuttle. No kidding. All right. Put on our spacesuit. Put on our helmet. As we have to jump start the thing. All right. Good job, Raj. Now. Have what we need there. Now, what we got here, we got a help sign. So, I'm going to do the only thing that it would help. Time passes. Jeopardy theme in there. Even more time. 
time passes. <laughs> well, somebody came to help. like the Narcissus from Alien. Hello, sweetheart. You look like you could use a little assistance. Is there anything I can do? Well, well yeah. yes, there is. Thanks for stopping. Well, you just name it, I guess. It seems I've stalled my engines. Could you give me a jump? I, I have cables. I'd jump you in a heartbeat, dollface. I guess you must have got caught up in that anti-anomaly. It can be a real pain in the... <laughs> well, anyway, let's get it done. Okay. Well, here's your end of the cables. I'll let you know when I'm all hooked up. Brinkley. Contact! All right, click where you want to put the red cable. Okay. Uh, well, first, uh, I want to say this. Just in case I do it wrong. Now, the red cable. Okay, Manuel. We're all hooked up. Give it a try. Yay! Did the right ones. Bye-bye, sugar bunny. I gotta be running along. Hey! Thanks for stopping to help me. See ya. goes in and bye That's wait, wait. delightfully non help you neatly replace the EVA suit in its proper place That wouldn't prove. My sole purpose is to help you, sir. Okay. Sir, there seems to be a problem with one of the engine intakes. Uh oh. Oh, great. What's next? Ah, uh, did I forget to get do something? You so. start to say. The shut. Okay, did I forget something? I think I did. I think I forgot to grab something when I went out there. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to get back in the spacesuit again. The 
because I forgot something. There it is! Goddamn fish. I mean, this thing's getting bad. Why are they letting me keep it? That wouldn't... You neatly replace the EVA suit in its proper place. All right. Well, we got a smelly fish on us. Good work, sir. I believe I, believe I, I now, now follow the Ion Trail of Deep Ship 86 back to Delta Berxalon 5. Then do so! Your whimper is my command, sir. All right, we got that ship back and running. Salon 5, and this is where we're going to call it an episode. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of my deep sp my uh, Space Quest series playthrough. I've played through all the previous released games. This is the last one. And I play through other Sierra titles. I'm also working my way through other things. I am working my way through the Doom franchise, following Doom Guy slash Doom Slayer, currently on Doom 64. Working my way through uh, Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark. Working my way through the Tomb Raider Core Designs timeline, currently on Last Revelation. Working my way through the Sherlock Holmes series by Frogwares in a chronological order. At the time this recording is being made, I am playing the seventh, the seventh game in the franchise storyline, the sixth game released, which is the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Once I get done with it, I'll be going back in time to Sherlock's younger days with Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Then I will be working my... I'm also working my way through Aliens vs. Predator, the 2000 release. Working my way through the game of Hellpoint. And I'm also working my way through uh, The Witness. Of course, that could be coming to an end soon. All these videos premiere at 10 at 3 p.m in a two week part of a two week cycle also every week 10 a.m. Tuesday through Saturday I have videos premiering Tuesday is a fic reading Wednesday is an art game playthrough Thursday is either Dead by Daylight or Monstrum 2 Friday is usually a fighting game story mode and Saturday is a retrospective for a game I beat as always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Have fun. And bye all.